in this episode of Gran Turismo 7, I have a little bone to pick with the license center. So I'm trying to go to get gold on everything. Look at that. The AMG GTR 17 on the Nürburgring, it's really, really tricky to get a gold. The best I could do, I think, was about a second behind the gold, which really makes me think I'm not that great at driving. Yeah, I don't even remember the track. Nürburgring is very tricky. Um, I played it a couple of times, but I will need to practice a lot more. But this first turn here is extremely difficult to get right. The, the entry one, because you have to enter full speed. Here as well, you have to get around 150. And here, I understand this. Uh, you have to enter about 150, 160. Very, very fast. Something I'm not able to do. I'm trying to understand what exactly I'm doing wrong to be able to push for a for a gold. Okay, here I am quite certain that was wrong. Okay, here I could push a lot more. You can tell I'm not even switching gears to uh, to fourth because I'm not carrying enough speed so by the time I need to get into fourth gear I need to get back into third for the break so it doesn't make any sense so yeah I'm about 58.8 I managed to get a 56.7 the first time I tried it but I tried it for about an hour an hour and a half and the best I could do was seven tenths behind the gold this is very challenging okay 120 not the best but I can deal with that this definitely I can carry a lot more speed through here no wrong you see that that fifth corner to the left it's very tricky until you learn where to break exactly or when to take the um, to take the, the foot off the pedal okay this one was 140 almost I think that was much better Ooh, this wasn't too bad either this is like a good cornering I, I feel the car can do much better But you know, you gotta you gotta take you gotta take your time. I'm not shifting gears to fourth yet in, in many places and that's just because I don't wanna carry too much speed until I learned exactly where do I make the mistake so I can kinda of puzzle put the whole puzzle together. So I keep the fourth early on the wheel brake, well pretty much whenever he says to break, but you see, nah. 120 is not enough. I think I break too much there. Okay, this one is... Let me just continue so I get familiarized with the track more. I think it would be much better for me if I could just stay on that uh, left side of the track in this section. Okay. Okay. I know I c I'm not pushing the car. I can feel I can't push the car too much. Uh, like I'm not uh, pushing the car too much. But this is one of those tracks where if you push the car too much, but you don't have a perfect line and your braking point is not perfect and you're like just one inch to the left or to the right, the car is simply gonna go off track. My pedal is not super sensi sensitive on the Logitech G29, so it doesn't help much. But I don't think that's the problem. I think my fi my foot is the problem. It doesn't really know how to trail brake efficiently. For example, here I could have got 140. But, I mean, this is the mentality of a beginner here. And uh, if, you, if you're struggling like me, just keep going. I know I will eventually get the gold. 
And I know it's not gonna happen overnight, because uh, just such is life. You can go here on the left and then carry a lot more speed here on the right. And I don't know this one. I know I can accelerate about here. Oh yeah, look at that. And here, I will, I will keep the third even, even if it says go in second. And this one, that's the, I think their entry there is wrong. So there's so much to unpack. A 57.9, which is about a second slower than my best, personal best. But anyway, the way I'm driving the car is awful. So I'm not expecting to get a gold with this type of driving. Try again. This is the process is very boring. Um, because I, I need to analyze where I do mistakes and what type of mistake is. And then I need to figure out a way to fix it. For example, uh, you don't break to that entry. If you break to that entry, because you don't need to slow down really, you just have to let the road do the the heavy lifting, because it creates a lot of downforce, I guess. Like look, 140, and you can still get this done, but you need to pay attention how you, because the way I drive the car. It's not the most consistent, as you can tell. There you go. Ooh. I thought I'm gonna get out, so I... Okay. Yep. These are such tricky cornerings. There is no margin for error. One mistake, you're out. This is why I love this track so much, because it's so unforgiving. It's, it's ruthless for beginners, but... At the same time, it really can uh, help you focus more on... on I, I mean, I like to focus on, you know, things to improve and how to do better in certain aspects of the game. Now what I'm going to try and focus and do is try to maximize track uh, limits as much as I can. Okay, so if I end up on the right before this cornering that I just lost the back end of the car, if I'm on the right, it's really bad position. So I should reduce the speed on on entry before getting to that point. Okay, I can catch it back, it's fine. Oh, that, that's gold gone. <laughs> this is my nemesis. There's really nothing I can do about it. I... I'm, I keep making mistakes. And I've got already two hours on this particular test, so there must be something that I'm really doing badly. Like here I can accelerate a lot more and here I can maximize track usage. And I'm gonna lose it here. You can tell it gets frustrating after a bit because basically you're just repeating the same 30 seconds track. Okay, exit here was decent. can't accelerate too much but I can guide the car a bit better from here good this one is a tricky one you see it slips a lot nah ah, I lost it there problem
56 and 9. I'm still two tenths off my best and I still need to gain, well, more than half a second. So that is not easy. I'm getting a bit closer but uh, some there are some key points that you really want to get done correctly. That's pretty much what I do. Now to some of you this may sound, this may look extremely boring but you don't get better with fun, you get better with boring unfortunately. That's just the way it is and uh, I think that's life. Unless you are Verstappen and you have talents or whatever. I give this second. Very nice exit right there. Which is gonna allow me here as well to accelerate a bit earlier. Bad entry. Which leads to a bad exit. Oh, that was horrible. But I've got a 56.4. So I managed to get my best record down two tenths. Now I just need to improve a little bit, which gets harder and harder. Especially for a beginner, because I can it's not very easy to like repeat the goods that you usually do in uh, in certain areas. I feel like this is a place where uh, I'm getting a wrong entry. Uh, the last turn, the last corner, I get a wrong entry because I think I get in too early. Um, the corner is much longer than it looks, so... I need to get that a lot better. Now this. You see? Look how much speed I'm gaining here. So there's definitely... There's definitely the possibility of gaining about 2 to 3 tenths only by getting that last corner correct. Been already almost an hour in it. I don't know if you're entering later. Yeah, this is going to be an improvement already. This is unbelievably difficult. I don't know how people can learn 12 minutes of this track and be able to do it consistently. It, it really requires billions of laps, I guess, here. Oh, that was wrong. This is not gonna lump. No. Nope. As, okay, I'm out. I swear to God, if this was real life, I would have an easier time to learn. Alright, I'm gonna take a little bit of a break because I'm tilting right now and I will smack something. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot, I cannot do it. 56.3 is the best I can do. And the funny thing is, if you look at the top 10, there's people doing 53. So people are running 3 seconds faster. And I am unable to get a 56, which means there is definitely something wrong when it comes to my lining. So I'm gonna take a moment, relax, because I'm tilting, so I'm gonna start making loads of mistakes. No bringing is not an easy track. I'm already almost five hours in. I've repeated the same 40 seconds for the five hours. 
and I still cannot get a gold. And people turn in th three seconds earlier than, than the gold, uh, four seconds faster than me. So I am very, very negated at this, obviously. Uh, I need to take a chill pill, go and beat someone up, because I'm very, very uh, uh, over the top right now. And then come back after I, uh, you know, whoosh. All right, so we get to calm down for a bit. Uh, as we stand now, 56.3 is my record. This is my best. Here. Gotta get slower on the brakes. I just lost all the advantage I had. I had three tenths of an advantage. This could have been gold. You see, I messed up the last turn and it cost me those three tenths, which probably could have been gold or very close. I know already that there's a part of the track that I'm going much slower than I should. And that's because I was doing the braking completely wrong. So this, this here, it's okay. This I need to break less. I'm breaking too much on the second turn. Here I need to break a lot less, but sustain it. And then I can cut there, apparently. Okay, now I understand. Um, one of the tricks of this track is you you have to enter a lot earlier than what your usual momentum would be for entry in a in you know in a in a turn. The entry point is a lot earlier than usual. I don't know, it's it's weird the way it works in the Nürburgring. It's because you see the, the road kind of kind of gets you there, but if I'm doing any, any more of these mistakes, uh, probably I will just yeah, I don't know, put my head in a bin or bully myself cuz that's just not acceptable. I lost all the advantage I had here. No way! <laughs> okay. Now this I have a reference point for the ghost. It has to be a millimetric perfection.
This one could be. Please. Please 55.7. Whoa. Whoa. Ooh. Oh, it only took me five hours in total to get this done. Oof. What the hell, bro? Jesus. This can't be normal, is it? This, this, this just can't be normal. How can it be normal? I mean, look at that. You have to be inch perfect. Wow. From here, it looks like I'm driving like a real professional. But the reality is I, I really suck. <laughs> You see? Here, this, this curve. I completely missed the apex. Here I got a late apex. And I could probably have pushed a bit more. And people do, people do a 53. It's like, do you realize that? 53.221. Which is almost what well, is two seconds and a half better than what I do. Um, but I'll take this gold Ooh, and a four star roulette ticket. Let's just open the ticket and then we that's it, you're done. Oh, I got a Citroen uh, in invitation. Oh, I don't understand. This one has a PP that is 597. This one has a PP that is 743. So clearly a better PP. It's clearly a bigger PP. <laughs> Yet it's half the price. Is the big PP underrated or is just what, what is wrong with this? Oh, well, anyway. Finally, we got the gold. Great. Now, hell is awaiting me because I'll have to try and get the S licenses. So, yeah. It's... What a blast. Ciao.